Hi friends, we are discussing our module third, that is the evolution. So today, my topic of discussion is anagenesis versus cladogenesis. So in this video, we will totally discuss on what anagenesis is and what cladogenesis is. After that, we will give, we will discuss on the comparative view on anagenesis and cladogenesis. So anagenesis. What actually it is? It is the evolution within the lineage, and cladogenesis. It is the evolution that result in the splitting of lineage. Means in cladogenesis, that is splitting is must. But in anagenesis, that is the progressive evolution. You can say this is the anagenesis progressive evolution, and cladogenesis there will be splitting. This is the cladogenesis, and this is the anagenesis. This. From here to here, this is the anagenesis, and this, this is the point from where two lineages are going on, and here is also this is the cladogenesis. So evolution through the anagenesis it is very rare, and it is very less common because non it is a non-branching evolution, and there will be extinction of parental species as you can see in this figure, A species it will get converted into B, then C and D. D. Finally, A will get extinct. A species goes extinct when it becomes a species B. Also, when a species B will get converted into a species C, a species B will get extinct. Same way, C it will get converted into species D. Again, a species C will become extinct. So, in one line, you can say that there will be extinction of the parent and the species. That is why it is very less common or rare. You can say. One thing that is very much important, or you can say the key point, that is number of the species remains same. In anagenesis, the species number will remain same. So anagenesis, ana means new, and genos means race. It is the collective changes that tra transform one species into a different species with different characteristics, and it is also called phyletic evolution. Okay, here species number will remain same. So what happens in cladogenesis? Clados means branching. It is a separation of a gene pool into two or more gene pools, pools that eventually produce one or more new species. Branching evolution is another name for the cladogenesis. Clado means branching. You have to remember this key point. And cladogenesis, it is the only evolutionary change <coughs> that can promote biological diversity by increasing the number of species. So you can say in cladogenesis, number of species will also increase, and there will be biological diversity. But in cladogenesis, there will be no species increment, or there will be no increase in the number of the species, and biological diversity or is also not maintained. So it is also called phyletic evolution. Anagenesis. Now come to this figure. During cladogenesis, one species branches off into two or more separate species. That is, I told you that is the branching evolution through cladogenesis. It it is a more frequent. If anyone can ask uh, which of the following evolution is more frequent, cladogenesis is more frequent, but uh, anagenesis is very rare or very less common. Yes, anagenesis it is an it is an evolutionary change of single lineage, in which one taxon replaces by another without branching. Two points you have to remember about anagenesis: there will be no branching. This is the one point, and second, one taxon replaces the another. It means there will be no increment in the number of species. Cladogenesis: it is an evolutionary change of a particular species in which new species are branched off from the common ancestral species. Means in anagenesis, you can say that the, the parental species will become extinct, but in cladogenesis, parental species will not become <coughs> extinct. So you can say that these both cladogenesis and anagenesis they are antagonistic to each other. As anagenesis it suggests that is it is a progressive evolution. Okay, for clad anagenesis it is a transformation of single ancestral species into single descendant species. So we have some key points on which we are going to compare anagenesis and cladogenesis. That is the branching, no branching, cladogenesis the branching of the lineage occur. Type of evolution, it is the evolution within a lineage, and it is an evolution which result in splitting of lineage, as I told earlier. So in this figure, you can easily understand anagenesis. It is the changing, okay, and cladogenesis. It is the splitting, splitting. 
that is a is getting convert into d this is the anathenesis changing and a b then b to c and d this is the splitting of lineage so it is the cladogenesis so alternative names anagenesis it is called phyletic evolution or the progressive evolution and cladogenesis is called branching evolution gene pool anagenesis one gene pool is converted into another another gene pool but in cladogenesis a single gene pool is split into several gene pools and the biological diversity if we discuss about biological diversity there will be no biological diversity it does not promote biological diversity it will promote biological def diversity definitely because it increase the number of species because splitting is there <coughs> yes this chart i have made on the comparative basis so anagenesis it is a evolutionary change of single lineage in which one taxon replaces by another without branching and here cladogenesis branching is there branching of lineage does not occur Blan branching of lineage occurs an evolution within a lineage in an evolution which result in the splitting of lineage this is called phyletic evolution or you can say progressive evolution this is also called by branching evolution one gene pool is getting converted into another gene pool single gene pool is split into several gene pools does not promote biological diversity it will not promote diversity it will promote diversity because it increases the number of species so tachy tally horo tally and brady tally these are the three modes and uh, what about the cladogenesis tachy skydia horo skysia and brady skysia these are the three modes of cladogenesis so one thing i want to discuss again here that is the similarities between the anagenesis and cladogenesis although they are antagonistic to each other but there are some similarities because they both are a part of evolution so both anagenesis and cladogenesis they are the type of the evolutionary mechanism as i told earlier both the anagenesis and cladogenesis occur in response to change in the environment yes environmental factor is applying on both the uh, on both the type of evolutions both the anagenesis and cladogenesis lead to speciation yes speciation means new species will form definitely in which in anagenesis parental species will become extinct but in cladogenesis parental species is there and new species will also form so both anagenesis and cladogenesis can be categorized based on the speed of occurrence of each process so in one line you can say that it is very less common anagenesis it is less common and cladogenesis it is very much common i hope you have understood all these slides very well so you have to learn only key points i have told anagenesis and cladogenesis so after this video you have to learn this comparative table only this is the overall summary or uh, this is the recap of, uh, of all the complete lecture of anagenesis versus cladogenesis through this comparative chart you can easily uh, understand all the conceptual approach uh, regarding anagenesis and cladogenesis if you feel any problem problem you can write me in my comment box as your query and i will reply friends i hope we will meet soon thank you once again